The PL Show is brought to you by Kel Chaco, Kel 360, and Kel Kids Toothpaste. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Kel Toothpaste PL Show. The show is always made possible by Kel 360, Kel Chaco, and Kel Kids Toothpaste. Kel is always a happy smile. As always, it's always exciting uh, to be on the show today. And today I get to interact with another phenomenal lady. I call her my dear colleague because I've known her for a number of years. She's an entrepreneur. She's a public speaker. She's a woman of many parts. Today, she's a global director of the Oxford Africa Women's Leadership Institute. And my guest today is Odilia Sika in Tiamwa Buampong. Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, please help me welcome my dear friend, Odilia. Hello. You ran away from us. How are you doing? Good to see you, Odilia. You're Good welcome. To see you. I'm so proud of you every time. How are you doing? Hey, you're keeping it all together. How are you doing it? <laughs> well, we'll get talking right after the break. Please do stay with me. This is the Kel Toothpaste PO Show. I am MFA Apau, and it's made possible by Kel 360, Kel Chaco, and Kel Kids. Odilia, welcome. Please take a seat. Anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh breath. I'm going to fit me this way. I'm going to put your band on my. What do you say? That's so psycho. It's her smile. The fresh breath. Me, did you say we use Kel 360 toothpaste? So me, Kai. Kel 360 toothpaste. That's Kia. Kel 360 toothpaste. It's a gum protector. Oh, I'm going to put your gum on my. What are you saying? Kel 360 did the way. It's cool, man. Gives me fresh breath and your confidence booster. Hey, you will see so feeling you can win in a year. Cal 360 toothpaste. Happy smile. Cal 360 toothpaste. Anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh breath. Cal, happy smile. This advert is FDA approved. Hello my friends, my name is Kel Kids Toothpaste. Wow. I was made to be gentle on your gum, but protected. I will protect your teeth from cavity, make your teeth whiter, stronger, keep your mouth fresh all day. And best of all, I'm strawberry flavored. So put on a smile and try me. That's amazing. Just try me, that's my job. If you say so, jump on my brush. Make your teeth stronger, chicky chicky whiter, chicky chicky stronger. Yay! You did it! I'm glad you like your new toothpaste. Don't forget to brush both day and night. Girl Kids, happy smile. You're welcome back to the Kel Toothpaste PL Show, always made possible by Kel 360, Kel Chaco, and Kel Kids Toothpaste. Mrs. Odilia Sikantia Mwabuampong is my guest, global consultant, pa pa pa. Welcome <laughs> to the Kel Toothpaste PL Show once again. Thank you, thank you. Odilia, how are you doing? It's exciting to see you. You can see how I'm grinning. Yes. <laughs> and if I allow Odilia, she'll take over the interview. I know, right? Yes. <laughs> But Odilia, um, knowing you today, at least, um, most of us know you, mm -hmm. um, your journey through media up until now. Mm -hmm. But how did it all start for Odilia, you'd say? At age four or five, one of the days I was standing in the um, porch of my house at um, Obosumase. That's where mm -hmm. I actually did my, um, started my education from at demonstration, every demonstration school. I actually went to um, nursery at um, Ebury Girls. Mm. Um, I did my secondary at Ebury Girls as well. But one of the days I was just standing in the in the porch and I actually picked like I think a, a stick or something mm -hmm. and I just pointed at like a microphone and sort of standing in the midst of plenty people and talking. I, I never knew I was going to be a public speaker or do media or do whatever it is. 
Um, in Legon, I met a gentleman, and uh, he's still in the media, a um, black boy, I think two years ahead of me, and had gone to Commonwealth Hall. You know, when you come fresh, it's yeah. like you've got plenty of time, you, you need to touch base with this or that and that. And so I went there with a couple of my friends. And then they, we met black boy, and black boy said, wow. You have a unique voice. I think mm. you should go into media. I found it so hilarious because, <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> because you've always wanted to do yeah. it. No, I mean, like, I, I felt that, I mean, this is a girl coming from a village school. I got fortunate. My father moved to Accra. Mm. I, I came to GSS in Accra. And all of a sudden, I'm in the university, and somebody thinks that I'm good enough to be on radio or be on television. Mm. And so, well, I didn't take the opportunity immediately. Actually, it was about two months later, and I kept meeting him mm -hmm. at different places. Oh, it was finally when I met him one day, and I was like, Charlie, this guy is a handsome guy. I don't <laughs> want him to embarrass me, keep embarrassing me for not doing what he's asked me to do, so let me just do it for him. So actually, he did it for Black Boy, mm -hmm. went to Radio Universe, met uh, Sankara, and Sankara was like, Odilia, if you're serious, you go places. This statement has had been like the guiding principle for me throughout my, my life in media. It was a level 300, City FM had come in 2004, yeah. and then City FM, in the uh, commercial radio parlance, you say they, they came to poach you, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And so, they poach you from <laughs> Radio Universe. <laughs> So City FM invited me for an interview to be um, um, a, a disc jockey at the time, and a DJ um, playing. Ah, it's now Bonyong. Yes. I used to be um, a, a presenter for uh, the music side, and I play okay. my own music. Later, I moved to the news department, and that's how my news journey also started. And then at a point, I said, I'm tired of doing radio. After doing radio for six years, I said, no, it's six time years to. Six years, you were tired. <laughs> It's time to do something else. And so when I saw the um, competition that was going on at TV3, um, they were looking for the hottest host. I said this was my chance to, to take it. Um, Michael, at the time, was the head of sports. Yes, Michael Buama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so Michael said, Odilia, there's an opportunity. I think you should. And I said, I've seen it. He says, I've, I've bought you the forms, so go and give it a shot. I indeed gave it a shot, and uh, that's how uh, my life in television also started. So started. And I uh, worked with TV3 for seven years, mm. and then later on came to the multimedia group to do business leadership for five years. And that's where we yes, met. Yes, we connected, yes. yes. <laughs> well, for five years. Yes, for yeah. five years. And Odilia, uh, I can testify um, when we talk about Odilia's professionalism. Yeah and what she can do and turning things around at the business and department of multimedia group. But what is it about growing up, would you say, made you the woman that you are today? So my father was a teacher. My father was a single father. Mm. And how? My, how come? Yeah, so my parents were divorced okay. by age six. Um, my mother took us away and brought us back um, when I was eight. And then my father took like full custody until whatever time. So I grew up with only men yeah. and that is why I do what I do. And so I it don't like you. to, yes, take mm. too many calculated steps. I mean, mm. you should see myself and my husband do brainstorming because we work together. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, for example, was like a heated brainstorming. Um, he wants me to take calculated steps mm -hmm. towards a decision for a project we are currently working on. And I say that we should just go for it. Mm -hmm. And I can tell that it's because I've lived with men throughout my life where the female in me sometimes is almost drained out yeah. and it is more <laughs> of like a, a man in a woman's body, you know. So I grew up with my dad and, and my two brothers where we, my father. You are the first? No. Okay. I'm in the middle. Mm -hmm. And. My middle, Puna, we near this. I'm the last but one of like six children. Okay. So I'm almost the last. This is a place where my father would actually 
um, when he came to Accra, he didn't have all the money as a teacher, taking care of two children. So we became his masons, we became his everything. Okay. And uh, when the mason comes, we are the laborers for the mason. And I, I can't stop talking about this particular story because we dug our own manhole, mm. myself, my younger brother and my father. We dug so deep that we got to the water table. And then the mason came one day and said, Mr. Fori, na mudi we kwe dey because we had reached water table and water was actually coming out of the soil. And then the man said, "Put water back in there. It put the sand back in there because the the hole you had dug was too much for the manhole." And so that's a kind of training I have had, mm. you know, being like a child. And so when you find me in any corporate organization or I decide to take up something, I I take the challenge. Out. I go out and I'm very passionate. Mm. It takes me to the seed to oak segment and the seed to oak segment is always made possible by Kel Kids Toothpaste. Now brushing time has become so fun time. Uh, for ages between two and six, it protects the gum, prevents cavity as well and is FDA approved, is safe uh, for your children and I bet you because of the strawberry flavor, brushing time is always a fun time. Seed to oak with Mrs. Odilia Sika in Tiamwa Mwampong. Well, the first time you were on TV, let's yeah. talk about it. I mean, <laughs> so I I was in the 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 studio one day, and then um, Emma Morrison at the time said, um, "Look, we need a new face mm. to take up a program that at the time Nana Banamwa was hosting uh, because she was moving Nana ba onto something." else and then um she said so odelia we are going to put you on tv just five minutes after she comes back to say that oh um upon like deliberation we want your senior colleague to do it you under study here and then you sort of um, learn mm. and then come so at the time i wasn't married but the guy I'm married to now, Prince, was actually my friend. Okay. So I went back and I told Prince that this is what happened in the office today. And Prince asked me, do you want to be on TV? I said, yes. He said, okay, then follow me. So Prince took me to a church close by my house. And then Prince, together with me, we prayed about this whole thing for three days. Wow. A month later, Emma comes back to say that I think you should do this. I'm, I'm going to take the risk and um, I know that you'll make me proud and so on the day it was a Sunday and um, she said so Odilia where are you mm -hmm. and then I said I'm in church I just closed she said okay um, come to the office right now mm -hmm. I get there and she says take my shirt um, you're going on air I might give you her shirt. Her shirt, yes. Miss mm -hmm. Moore. Yeah. Um, we, we all affectionately yes, call her Miss Moore. Moore. <laughs> so um, Emma Morrison at the time gave me her shirt um, to wear to go on to uh, the program called Mission. That's mm -hmm. how I got to be on television as a, a TV host or um, you see a newscaster at the time. Mm -hmm. And it was um, stories that uh, were being sponsored from the various communities, actually six districts deprived most deprived districts in Ghana okay. telling their health issues and then also their um, educational issues and um, we were able to tell many stories from the rural communities on mission from a point where I almost drowned in one of the places um, and interestingly somebody um, the cameraman catches me on shot yeah. actually um, well, almost dry, drowning and um, um, we were able to bring that shot and then we put it on TV and then my father calls me and says I, I don't think you should work on television again <laughs> um, because if this is how they are going to kill you I mean it's this is not funny and then mm -hmm. I said at age 32 I don't think you would want to make decisions <laughs> for me <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we killed it very quietly. Nicely. But so that's how I started television. But, but looking back on it, and the uh, up until now, 
uh, at least from the first day at Uko TV so and all the things that happened, almost drowning me idea. Ebu Wabim at any point. No, um Mabemu Muda. Um because a Juana me and me pay. Me pay. I mean the moment also camera see me so uh it's like one mummy. I bring me that opium and I say oxygen and I say baby. That's what my drew be. And then it's sort of a mummy at one thing. Emma, meet me a cocoye a Joanna Miliano. And I used to like telling the very rural stories, the very moving stories, mm -hmm. stories on Enkofase, Ye Jaomu, Ah, Ye Nri Omu Hobium, Ye Nkoma Sembium, Ubi Enfa Omu. And a ho and a nap me pe. Me Kaiser one day, a uh, treasurer for GJA, um, me time in Kaini Din, mm -hmm. um, Ushia me war, uh, GJA, and all catch me say, Udilia, Madame Fubi say, Sema Kawuya Singina, Ye Wopa, Omwari. We laughed about it, but those were the issues that comes, you know, with the terrain mm. and you needed to embrace it. Um no more fun is uh say, oh yeah, we're doing mm. and let's say no who say young ones that are taking up to the likes of you, you know, um would want to to certain parts at least. And I said they are just on a mission to be famous. And, and so I say social media no. mm -hmm. <laughs> social media and also I'm a and for a percent or more gather likes any popularity, mm -hmm. but I think that so we are doing a way a piano and so we do a jumano now. What do I come on my jumano near a cacana a pepperning in our dear a byproduct now? So do any see so say who focus a say me a year Joanna man what it senior byproducts in the dear chair a bebo me say young ones now or more break on back a crabby no. And they almost me a quack or rear a baby a phenomenal. There's a young man and a old team, uh, joy, mm -hmm. uh, no well, more department, um, Manuel Cranton, yes, Manuel Cranton, um, <laughs> or yeah, an epitome of Obia, a make up it to my name, a brofon, I can say to or yeah, Obia, you beat me didn't know what I can say, say, oh yeah, a bemoir, and I say, we a young person now, open say, who quetchida. And so she will be to say manual quarantine. Um, will be me per se me chere say, omu generation no yeah. of eighteen to thirty years no, they are also in kofubu also omu so many abre. E per se adi e juma bi ombe no omu so ombe ni ye. E ti me per se me di ma dream e koko si sa for no so. Na me di encourage you omu so a omu ni omu dream say omu so omu be pe bi bi aya ne likes ne si be ye ho kakra ne che se flesh kakra ne ati kakra ne ati kakra ne ati kakra e ni ano na e be boa because that you know consequences wo wa u be di actually e ti no me ti ni a kan se e juma dream e ho aketu ya e wo ho e na se wo ni e juma dream so be ni a ho aketu ya it's a choice thing na e wo aude e wo aude well that's uh, Mrs Odilia Sikanti amwa bwampo now she's the global uh, director. Uh, for Oxford Africa Women's Leadership Institute. We'll get into that shortly, mm -hmm. but I'm sure many are wondering, what is it about media that makes you all leave? Um, <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> 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 we are paid well, stop that. <laughs> so what, why did you leave media? I think so my, my year for 21 years, I had done it for 21 years. Um, I think so one of the serious challenges um, when it comes to the media space is growth. And a Jew baby, it's like you you are not able to grow naturally. And now, I also say, who grow, who grow into the idea? What do you say? You need to make hard decisions. And and also, I say, Obi so wo hono mo ano aye obi a waye sansani de bi nya san america ye nya aye wo ye different ambitions in life having had some trainings in the media no 
be I came to also see say opportunities be brew as a sports. Ah, mm meeting -hmm. me ah yeah, I know super boami. Into one of the things that uh, me feel media immediately, you know, me here yeah, was collecting data. I have such a huge adrenaline for data. I think that naturally I like to do difficult things. And yeah, man, of one interested. Me per se me to me eh yeah, it sort of pushes me. Me yeah we are. Nature will be a doable satisfaction. It's you yeah, collected data, I many team at the time collected data on um, 1,000 brands in Ghana and how they are using um, social media to benefit their businesses. And we moved it from um, 10 categories of the economy. So, media was one of them. Now, one of my motivations is say, now me huno how multimedia ethnia use the um social media any mm -hmm. strategy to sort of turn their fortunes around as a business it's not me who is something that i could easily um do and to be able to tell the rest of the world to say a hey, doable yeah uh -huh. and see you're collecting data from a thousand businesses and are you scaling it down to 100 businesses and then we did a 178 page report on how these businesses were using digital media to the advantage and sort of prefers solutions on how they could do it properly okay uh, and it was one of the any amana me free media mo maybe and yeah. i I felt to say, me get join will be for some time. Uh, sometimes I feel to say I have peaked. Yeah, and there's really and the nothing, container becomes small. Exactly, mm -hmm. and there's really nothing new. Ah, uh, me see, for example, and I said there's nothing that really excites me. Uh -huh. And to me feel say once I get something exciting, I want to go for it. I said we, we then, need a day. Uh, I mean a day. Okay. So me man training me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So mm -hmm. that was one of the projects we worked on. It was bought by a lot of international corporates because someone a data asset. Okay. And then we move to the current project uh, I'm, I'm currently working on, which is the Oxford Africa Women Leadership Institute. And I always like to take experiences from different jurisdictions and sort of mirror it and see, say, how do we pitch forward? Okay. Because, uh, yeah, not more times you know, we are looking at the problems and yeah. not the solutions. And one of the key things I saw as head of business for the multimedia group was say, so often the pattern, so person who is interviewer, you end up finding, say, a moon nine and a half, a mema, a chichin. Half, no, nine and a half, no, a say, or be a beer, or yes, or stand by. Our person or Jay or Baby opportunity. Okay. And a half woman also are all speaking. You know. And your bar, when your opportunity, but the point is, oh, and a, eh, me too, when you come, eh, my daddy, eh, me, my boy, eh, now someone make a can you cry, eh, but affecting me business, and now, eh, you all say, they be a my cautious, or mom person be kasa, any other day. But men, man, nine and a half, no, they may not necessarily be doing the most thriving businesses, but then almost they just dare. To take the chance. Mm. And once I discovered that as head of business, I decided to say, okay, the key thing to do if you want women to take leadership role is to first to empower them economically. And you know, this whole project started with the first project called the She Economy Africa mm -hmm. Project, which concentration is on just women-led businesses okay. and how to be able to support them. And how to be has more it visible. been so far? Yet? So far, yet me a gather. In less than a year, 3,000 women across the continent, 37 countries, are they supporting Omo with different sort of um, wow. things. Uh, recently, he organized the only all-female expo. Uh, it will be the biggest expo. Ah, a year in Mankwa, okay. 200 vendors here in World State House. Then our target, you know, I'm told, is about a million. They're looking forward yes, to a looking million for women? A million women across Africa in the next five years. Wow. On the 5th of March, which is coming, which is the International 2024. Women's Day 2024, we are looking at starting the conversation to set up an all female fund um, for the women. Ah, uh, just say, yeah, yeah, all the paperwork behind the scenes. But on that day, no, we will sort of do a workshop um, to get the opinions of other stakeholders in the women in business space to also put their ideas together okay. for this fund to be set up. We have also collected data from 
400 women-led businesses. Initially, I had 1,200 women-led businesses. Mm -hmm. And as I say, you're moving into 400 women-led businesses. And we're sort of gleaning from them in three thematic areas, access to finance, in any case, do they even have accounts? Mm -hmm. Do they have audited accounts? In this case, we can say we should share more. The point is, will they find the women in their numbers who have audited accounts, who have proper bookkeeping, and all of that? And that data should be able to, because they are random sampling, 400 women in business, to be able to tell, say, um, is financial literacy a gap for women and for us to be able to fill? Who really know? You are thinking about access to markets. Access to markets, no question, they say, um, our certificates, no cross, and ne, okay, say, after, offer the mama and co be a will be a with me, dear co. And this was one of the critical questions we asked. And then we asked a question on um, capacity building, say, Institutions been a capacity building. Ah, which ones have you benefited from? And one of the institutions was the Oxford Africa Women Leadership Institute, Ghana Enterprises Agency, mm -hmm. NRFE, GEPA, where okay. these were some of the key um, institutions are uh, that could find the women from mm. uh, yeah, capacity building from. So this data is actually rich data that will be launching on the 5th of March and the, uh, the Swiss ambassador will be the keynote speaker at the place. Well, so it takes me to 360 and that's made possible by Kel360. It's minty. It gives you fresh breath all day long and um, it's safe for the use of the entire family. Very affordable as well. Also FDA approved. 360 of Odelia. Odelia in Tiamwa, a name synonymous with media excellence, sustainability, and women's empowerment, has carved an extraordinary path throughout her career. Her relentless commitment to driving positive change has made her an influential figure in the industry and beyond. Moreover, Odilia Ntiamwe's commitment to driving social impact led her to become the Global Director of the Oxford Africa Women Leadership Institute. A global non-profit organization is dedicated to building sustainable women-led businesses and nurturing women leaders. Under her leadership, Odilia spearheads the transformative She Economy Africa project. She has been an instrumental figure in my life. And I'm very grateful, Madam Odilia. Thank you so much for helping me in my journey. I wish you that the vision of you getting one million women under this project, I pray that God will grant you your heart's desires. I wish you the best, mommy. And you know that I love you from the, from the bottom of my heart. You know it, and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Wow. That's um, one of you. Okay. She, she's on my team. She mm -hmm. handles the She Economy project. Okay. Yeah. Assuming I walk into Oxford Africa Women Leadership Institute, what processes will I go through? Into you, you first will sign up on uh, your WhatsApp platform. Mm -hmm. And then once you are on the WhatsApp platform, um, we are on a consistent basis sharing different opportunities. And then we're on a consistent basis getting feedback from you. Okay. And the, um, when you check your hub, Honwa, we have the space where we do training for them. Okay. And the, um, mm -hmm. um, sometimes, uh omu needs her boldness na or they be walking into Malcolm and a shop right and uh um make town. Okay. But opese or tone in yama. And Tidi Ayani say ye jiu niyama noa. Na ye dia ko in bulk. Okay. To a shop. So you um, make the pitch on our behalf? Yes. Okay. And mm -hmm. then we say that, look, these are women-led businesses. So from branding to everything, they see it, they like the item, they pick it. We tell you, we connect you to the market, and then you go on to mm. do your, your business. So we've been able to send a, uh, a number of the women to different shops. One of the places we've been able to send them is Midtown. Midtown is a creation by Ghana Exim Bank mm. to be able to collect made-in-Ghana items.
and sort of put it in the Continental Free Trade Area building okay. um, where people from the continent can actually come and make page purchases. And so these women, we picked their items sent it there and mm. the exciting thing is that once we send your items to a shop or to um, whether local or international shop mm -hmm. uh, they begin to take your journey from there so it's not just you coming to dump your things in that shop and that is it so exam does it very perfectly once we sent the items there they then began to follow the women up to beyond just their items who qualifies say business being there was a year I may qualify in to fact, be able to we currently get have in the pool about seven different sectors of the economy from mm. service your yeah, doctors mm. and your yeah, platform no? so people within the service space consultants mm. your yeah, agribusiness your yeah, contractors even on the page okay you, well, so far as our yeah, it has to be there, female driven it has yes, to sir. be female 50 okay. percent female owned or female-led um, business mm. and so now with me are joining your community now. So once you join the community, you have access to three things. We are looking for financial opportunities for you. And so currently we are onboarding them onto a an accounting platform where we do all the accounting for them into your mobile conduct accounting mm. no? and at the end of the month no? near the results no? okay. and then secondly yes you share markets into it me found near man from Ghana has a near the air share um international market it is me a cotton one yeah and then every Friday you build your more capacity mm. because or be person must can own capacity is not built. Someone wants to give you money and capacity is not built. They can give you money and you mess it up. Until we do capacity building every Friday for hundred businesses, okay. and we do it um, from conversation from artificial intelligence. This Friday we are looking at building um, ESG into your business because you see, baby, if you want to, I want to see you now. ESG sustainability is the conversation and for us to be able to build sustainable businesses we need to be able to understand the space to build sustainable businesses okay. so that is um one of the topics are i think it, it's a good time to say are you cool to you <sighs> like i'm um, super proud of um, how far you've come and we celebrate you i'm going into your diy proudly brought to you by kale charcoal toothpaste it's fda approved and it gives you that white teeth fresh breath and a happy smile On my do-it-yourself, I'm just going to be talking to you about how to really put your content together and be confident right before the television. So just in case you decided to interview a woman-led business, what are some of the critical questions you should be asking and how should you put the whole content together? So I decided to invite my very good friend, Auntie Yvonne Dovlo, who has actually decided to put her career and everything she has learned from the educational sector on hold to produce this. What would you say this is in the first place? This is called Old Flames. Okay. So, Auntie Yvonne, why did you decide to leave all the many things you and all the achievements in education that you you have garnered so far from India to Ghana. Actually, when I came back to Ghana after my work in India, um, I tried to go back into the education sector, but then I realized that the pay will not help me. You know, living abroad had changed me. That made me to value my time. So I decided that let me suffer small, you know, come up with something that will sustain me for the rest of my life. You decided to join Shikonomi. Tell me how your journey has been so far. Well, before Shikonomi, you know, I was doing this, but, you know, I was producing this product, but it wasn't known to many people. And after joining Shikonomi, in fact, I've had the best exposure. The exposure that I have received that made me see myself in power with Kellogg's. That is where I'm going. Right? Go you! <laughs> Well, so if you decided to just watch what 
the, the conversation that went on. One of the key things um, when conducting an interview is to have your facts right. Be very relaxed because it is your sphere. You have the information and the person doing the listening is actually going to consume the information you are giving out. And when you have a follow-up question, listen carefully, don't interrupt the interview and get out your follow-up questions from a previous question that you've asked. Thank you very much. And I'm sure that you'll have really enjoyed these few tips from my 21 years of media work. Thank you. Michelle, ah, fe fe ah, hmm, <laughs> different era, better result. Time has changed, and time has brought Cal charcoal toothpaste, healthy gums, anti cavity, fresher breath, and it whitens teeth. Chocolate toothpaste. Sankofa. Yenchi. Kill chocolate toothpaste. Happy smile. This advert is FDA approved. How do you juggle? Recently, um, I was listening to a preacher called um, Dr. Young Bicho. Mm -hmm. I was talking about how we as Christians can use the power of the Holy Spirit and I've actually been practicing it in recent times and it's really helpful. But what I want to say is that it's not always a perfect situation. Mm -hmm. um, my husband is very helpful. So, yes, sorry, I'm not par. It's like we, we've shared the work from the beginning. He knows to say, mm -hmm. <laughs> But Ojari in Kualano, even from when the babies were two weeks, he mm. could bath them into a sofa. Let me sum sofa. Obia yamwa, but if you have a healthful partner, a boa part, for me that is like the number one helper. We need free fee. Yes, Alutino. At this aye, point, aye. I think that so we need hapra. to. Yeah. <laughs> We need to salute him. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's a good time to just um, say hello to him as well. <laughs> welcome, <laughs> uh, Mr. Wampo. Well, we are really welcome um, to the you. show. How has it been, you'd say? Well, it's been very wonderful, Jenny. Um, when I met her, I first met her, where it was after Legon. We met in Trotro, uh, hey. 37. Okay. And we started a conversation, but with Michia Obinan, all your heart desire is to see the person do good. Mm. I think that was the, the first impression I got. And so we became friends for a very long time, wow. very good friends. And she would call me, let's go to church all night. I'm like, this girl, <laughs> you know. And I, I was so interested in the things she was doing. I'm like, I really want you to do well. Whatever you want to do, tell me, I'll help you. Wow. So things, we we're just friends for a long time. In fact, the day we, 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 we got married, we, we had our wedding. We're laughing because we're friends. Actually, we're not lovers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're yeah. just yeah. friends, you know. And I think that's key, yeah? Being yeah. friends mm -hmm. and um, doing this together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hey, never what? tired of seeing her. Hey, because you never. work together. I wonder how you cope. I picked her every day in TV3 for seven years. Mm -hmm. And I see you pick and I her picked also her at, at Multimedia for five every years. Day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Hey. Unless so, he's not in town. Mm -hmm. If you don't see me, then I'm not in town. So we, if we bring two cars to town, we pack one at multimedia and driving one. Yeah. Almost yes. all the time. That one I can it, testify. It, oh. it was just a sight in being part of the journey. You know, we'll discuss everything she would do. I, I will add uh, my expertise, Thoughts. my yeah. opinion, and we'll look at how the whole thing can be executed. I do my businesses, and she will also, I mean, be part of it. So it's been exciting, and it's a joint vision. You're able to look into the future together. You put all your hopes. Someone, it gets to a time, it, it is just a rotating activity. Yeah. You do maybe our faith for something, I don't have it. Uh -huh. yeah. You do time, I'm, I'm having faith for and that. And then you're ordained, you're not out to me, you know. But and it, it's, it's amazing, eh? 
behind that thick shell with all the aggression there eh? yeah, is a beautiful woman yeah. who wants to be just a <laughs> friend and Charlie just about everything when it comes to her business then he gets a monster you know yeah. and i mean i understand you know i was telling her this morning that if i have a 10 million dollar bet it on you to do media because you wake up and the thing comes to you naturally, naturally. So she'll be back, and I told her. Uh, not back, but own something in that space. Oh, great. Um, as for back. Mm, yeah, as for back, you allow it. Own something in that space, you, yeah. know, you know. I mean, because it's, it's, it's to her, it's a, it's a passion. And, okay. and not necessarily about the money or the returns. Yeah. It's the, how it will touch lives, communities, and all those stuff. So. I'm sure you see another chair, and you're wondering. I didn't let Mr. Wampong go. He had to stay for <laughs> the next surprise that I That's have for right. you. And um, at this point, uh, drum roll. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's welcome <laughs> surprise for Odilia. Please, please come. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, mommy. Please. Oh. <laughs> Wish it to you. Uh. She's my my mommy, my fastest wife. Uh -huh. Oh no, <laughs> my intercessor. Uh, you're welcome, mommy. Thank you. You're Thank welcome you. to the show. Uh, how would you describe Otilia? Yeah, I'm so so proud of her. Yeah, I've known Otilia for the past over twenty years now. She's so amazing, hardworking, dedicated, mm -hmm. lovely, and a lover of God. Wow. Yeah. This morning, I want to encourage you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Super encouraging. Wow. This is how I want to end wow. the show today. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. At the time that I get you surprise. to be speechless and surprised. Oh. <laughs> well, Mommy, yeah. we are indeed grateful. Yeah. We are indeed grateful for you to be a, a part of the show and to encourage her. And Mr. Wampong, yes. we can't thank you enough. And before we go, uh, as always, as we do it, this is for uh, Odilia. And uh, it's the Kel range of products, <laughs> and you all help me. Yeah. I had to hand it over to her, <laughs> mommy. Please <laughs> help me. Hey, Julia, <laughs> there. And that's not all. Uh -huh. Julia is a queen, and uh, we celebrate queens on the show. Every time you see this, you know that. Yamao Asisiga, right? Yeah. And it tells you that you're always a queen and we celebrate you on the show. Yeah. You deserve it. Yeah. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing you up there. And it's not just for Delia that we're giving the gift to. For you, Mami, also, uh, for joining us. Thank you. This is thank our range of products. And to Mr. Wampo, we can't thank you enough. <laughs> I'm grateful. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Thank you. Well, maybe you sign us out, Odilia. Sign us out. On behalf of MFA Apo, um, on behalf of my dear husband and my dear pastor's wife and mama, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say a very big thank you to the PL show, the producers, the camera team, and everybody. You've been such a wonderful um, team today, making the PL show such a beautiful one that we have all enjoyed. My name is Odile Ntiamwa. Let's meet again on another platform, probably. Um, both of us yeah. watching the PL show. <laughs> and it's made possible by Kel360, Kel Chaco, and Kel Kids to Face. On behalf of Odilia and the entire team, thank you for being a part of the show. Another exciting one comes your way, same time. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>